series. Let's start with the hot ones weebs. Solo leveling known as I Level Up Alone in English is a Korean novel written by Chu Gong. It was serialized in Papyrus and later in Kakao Page on April 13, 2018. A webtoon serialization started on the Korean mobile site Kakao Page drawn by artists Hyeon Gun and Jang Sung Rak. The passage connects other dimensions to our gate. In a world where awakened beings called hunters must battle deadly monsters to protect humanity. Sung Jin Woo E rank hunter nicknamed the world's weakest hunter wanted to be a hunter because his mother needs medical bills but the hardest dungeons had been hidden in an E rank dungeon double nest in the end he could not escape from death death is a major theme in our hero's story but when he started to disappear he wakes up in a hospital a quest window pop out only he can see daily quests appear every day and he hunts monsters to upgrade his level of survival following our main protagonist i will rise from the weakest hunter to s rank hunter solo leveling attack on titan final season part 3 is back in 2023 that was revealed on the show's official Twitter account alongside a teaser trailer for the third part of Season 4, but we have every reason to believe that the Attack on Titan Final Season Part 3 realized date could be in the late winter 2023-23's window, around January-February 2023. While we don't know for sure Part 3 is likely to be fairly short, that's because it's rapidly running out of source material. There are only 9 manga chapters left to adapt which means Art Season 4 Part 3 could last around 10 episodes at the current ratio of manga chapters to episodes. A year ago the long conflict between the island of Parody and Marley is coming to a close. The big question mark surrounding Part 3 is how it all goes down. Eren has started the rumbling a world-ending move that sees the titans encased in paradise walls utilized as his army. Eren is setting out to kill everyone outside of Parody so his friends can live free lives without a cycle of revenge. I can't wait for the anime I am excited let me know in the comments below what are your expectations. Jujutsu Kaisen was easily one of the biggest anime of 2021 and would eventually come away with Crunchyroll's coveted anime of the year award following its conclusion in March of last year. Arguably the very best that a shonen anime can be, the series benefited from some of the best animation and artwork that many of us have ever seen not a surprise to those already familiar with MAPPA Studios' previous work. As confirmed in the announcement made at the February event in Japan, Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2 will release in 2023. The first reports of the renewal stated that the hit anime series would premiere in Winter 2023 inches the broadcasting slate that runs from January 2023 through until March. However, the weekly Shonen Jump News Twitter page has since shared an update to this information, confirming that only a 2023 window was set and that Winter was mistranslated from the original post. This update indicates that Jujutsu Kaisen will likely not premiere on the winter slate in 2023, so fans should prepare themselves to wait until either April 2023 or July 2023 for the series to return. Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2 will cover the Shibuya Incident Arc Chapters 79 to 136. It's safe to conclude that Classroom of the Elite Season 3 will likely begin airing in July 2023 and end in September. But, it's hard to say anything with certainty at the moment so be sure to pay attention to the official announcement. Mushoku Tensai Jobless Reincarnate Season 2 is the final after credit scene in Mushoku Tensai Episode 23 Tease. Mushoku Tensai Season 2 will have Rudy, Rudius Greyrat, finally attending school at the Renoa University of Magic at the behest of Rudy's unknown friend. But who will voice the teenage Rudius? We know that Mushoku Tensai Season 2 will feature a new voice actor for teenage Rudius Greyrat. On December 12, 2021, Rudius voice actress Yumi Uchiyama tweeted that she was leaving the anime series after the ending of Part 2. Who will voice teenage Rudius in Mushoku Tensai Season 2? The anime production committee hasn't announced the pivotal role yet, but it's possible it could be Hiro Shimono since he voiced Rudius in the CD drama that was bundled with the light novel Volume 12. The voice actor is known for voicing Zenitsu in Demon Slayer. Dobby in My Hero Academia, and Connie in Attack on Titan. Formed to create this anime. That's not to say they haven't worked on other anime at all. Studio Bind also helped VOLN Studio with episodes 22 and 31 of the Karakuri Circus anime. On April 22, 2022, it was announced that Studio Bind's second big project, besides Mushoku Tensai Season 2, would be the adaptation of Onimai, I'm Now Your Sister. Vinland Saga Season 2 A New Millennium begins in the southern part of the Jutland Peninsula in Denmark. 
Thorfinn was bought by the landowner Ketil as a slave, and engaged in land reclamation work on his farm. Thorfinn meets a young man there, Ina, who was also a slave like him. The encounter with Ina led Thorfinn to face the sins he had committed and began to find meaning in life. On the other hand, Canute, who became the king of England, attempted to extend his territory for the establishment of the promised land. This is the story of a true warrior, the story of atonement and salvation, lies beyond the prologue. Vinland Saga, the epic anime series that retells some key parts of Norse history, has confirmed its second season will start airing on January 9, 2023. According to that information, both Netflix and anime streaming service Crunchyroll will get first dibs on Vinland Saga Season 2 for viewers outside of Asia. Despite this change, many of the show's original staff are still involved, including director Shuhei Yabuta and writer Hiroshi Siko. The series, which won a bunch of anime awards after its first season aired, is based on a hugely popular manga series by creator Makoto Yukimura. Tokyo Revengers Season 2 anime TV series will have Takamachi Hanagaki time traveling once again to confront the Black Dragons, a gang that corrupts the Tomen from the inside. In short, Takemichi is going to tell these gang members the title of the manga. The Tokyo Revengers Season 2 release date is officially confirmed to be on January 7, 2023, and the winter 2023 anime season's second season is officially titled Tokyo Revengers, Seiya Kesson in Japanese. According to BD DVD distributor Pony Canyon, the anime sequel will be officially titled in English as Tokyo Revengers Christmas Showdown. The upcoming Christmas Showdown arc will have a cast change, with Tatsuhisa Suzuki no longer playing the role of Ken, Drake, and Ryuguji. The replacement has not yet been revealed. However, additions to the Tokyo Revengers cast include Mikako Komatsu, Maki Zenin, Jujutsu Kaisen, and Tomokazu Sugita. Jintoki Sakata, Jintama, in the roles of Yuzuha and Taiju Shiba respectively. The remaining members of the main cast are expected to return to voice their characters in the upcoming second season. Mashal if you are a Black Clover fan you will like this new anime which is kind of similar to Black Clover, too. Everyone else in his magic-dominated world, the young and powerless Mashburn deed is a threat to the gene pool and must be purged. Living secretly in the forest, he spends every day training his body, building muscles strong enough to compete with magic itself. However, upon having his identity exposed and his peaceful life threatened, Mash begins his journey to becoming a divine visionary, a role so powerful that society would have no choice but to accept his existence. And so, to maintain his peaceful life, the magicless Mash enrolls in the prestigious Eastern Magic Academy, competing against the children of some of the most powerful and elite in the realm. Dr. Stone Season 3 fans can expect Dr. Stone to adapt to the Age of Exploration arc of the series. Senku and his comrades will most likely go on an adventure by the sea in an attempt to uncover the secrets behind the blinding light that turned humans into stones. It will be interesting to see what kind of inventions the team comes up with in the upcoming season. The Anime TV Twitter announced the release of Dr. Stone Season 3. The season is scheduled for April 2023, during the spring anime season. The trailer shares a spot with the special spin-off episode Dr. Stone, Rusui, which focuses on the character Rusui Nanami, season 3. We'll cover the Age of Exploration arc in the manga, but there's also a possibility the anime will also cover the Treasure Island arc from the manga as well, the anime series. For Dr. Stone has 24 episodes in the first season, and 11 in the second. But this third season might surprise us with the length. If this season doesn't extend to 24 episodes, look forward to a possible season 4. As the story covered will likely only extend to chapter 138 of the manga, there are over 90 more chapters to cover until the end of the story. And with the popularity of Dr. Stone, it's safe to say that the anime will adapt the entire manga. Hell's Kitchen uh, I mean Hell's Paradise. Jigokuraku, a dark fantasy set during Japan's Edo period. Despite the lack of additional information, the series was once thought to be set for release sometime in 2022. Gabamaru the Hollow, a ninja of Iwagakure village known for being cold and emotionless, was set up by his fellow ninja and is now on death row. Tired of killing and betrayal, he wants to die. However, no method of execution works on him because as much as the seemingly apathetic Gabamaru refuses to admit it, he does have a reason to live. He wants to return to his wife, who was the reason why he softened up and failed to be an effective assassin. 
Thus, he refuses to die. Demon the Decapitator, a famous executioner, sees this and has a proposal for the ninja. She wants Gabameru to join an expedition to an island south of Japan in search of the elixir of life in exchange for a full pardon by the Sogonate. However, this island isn't normal, it's believed to be paradise. However, the island is full of mysteries, and the exploring team consisting of those marked for death might not be fully prepared to handle them the most important thing, especially for fans of the original manga series.